We're doing things a little differently this week. Instead of doing the Saturday market in Kelowna, we're gonna set up our roadside stand this Saturday and sell right in front of our house. There's a few different reasons why we're gonna sell in front of our house instead of the farmer's market this week. One of them is it was so hot this week. Gas cans, too hot. Cats, too hot. Plants, too hot. Everything, too hot. Literal laser beams cutting through landscape fabric and melting our drip line, too hot. We were kind of just holding down the fort, keeping the kids and everything alive, and we didn't have time to do all our normal harvesting or market prep for the week. So we decided it would be better just to cancel the market. Tell me about what you're doing here, Sarah. I am painting a mural because it's too hot. It's 10.30 and it's unbearably hot in the outbuilding right now. <laughs> so this was my hide from the heat job, was to do this painting. And I'm really happy. I've been talking about doing this for a year and, and it, it looks, it's like exactly what I wanted. So I'm really happy. We might have to let it cook for a bit. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of whitening, like a little bit. Okay, I don't know if that's cooked or not, but uh, like you get the idea, right? It's hot. What is even happening here? Oh, it's so hot. I just want to go jump in the lake. Now there's a forest fire on the other side of the valley. You can see the, the smoke. Just above the hill there, that's that's not cloud, that's forest fire smoke. So I'm sure this whole valley will be choked out soon. You know, I've been working on this walking cooler over the course of quite a few weeks now. Uh, sometimes I can go days and days without even getting a chance to come out here and work on it just because we've got so much going on. But one of the other things that really slows this down other than just, you know, not having the time to put into a project is that you seem to always have to go to a hardware store with these types of projects. Right now, the need is just get it done and functional and move on to the next thing. So this hardware store trip is the last one before I can get it functional. It's like, I don't know, 115 Fahrenheit, I think it is here. It is so hot. This is the hottest I've ever felt in my life. 
Um, you know, it's, it's never gotten this hot in Canada before. We're just down the road from Canada's hot spot for the last handful of days, Linton, where it got up over 50 Celsius the other day. That's so scary. That's so hot. All right, off to the hardware store. Okay, I am here. That fire across the valley there just keeps growing. Uh, there's no news yet about how big it is, but it's getting big fast. And it's 46 degrees, according to my truck. I mean, that's some of that is just being on the hot road. The news says it's 42, but it's so hot. Just zapping me, zapping my energy. I'm here anyways. I'm gonna get the last of the, the stuff that I need for this project. And then I'm gonna get home. All right, I wasn't in there very long because I knew exactly what I needed to get. And now I got it, so I'm gonna go back home and try and finish up that walk-in cooler. The fire service has updated the status of that fire that's, that's going there. Uh, they said it's about 300 hectares so far, and there's two of them that are close together. And they had to pull back the firefighters, all the fire crews had to pull back from it because it was just too aggressive. So I imagine this whole valley will be filled with smoke here pretty soon. I'm back from the hardware store. I'm not getting right to work. We're actually gonna go hit the beach again and cool off. In making these videos, we do try to, you know, have fun and have happy, enjoyable videos. But, um, you know, it has been so hot here. I have to admit that deep down inside, I'm feeling pretty stressed. I, I have the ominous feeling of a very smoky summer uh, in the pit of my belly. And just thinking back uh, a few summers ago when we had a really bad fire year, and this one is looking to be even worse. You know, I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit down and I don't really wanna, you know, I don't really want to hide that. Uh, I don't really want to make that the focus of our videos, but you know, it's definitely down there. Hey, buddy. He doesn't care. Both him and Fatty are like infinitely more docile than Mew ever was about getting this done. Also this week, it's our daughter's birthday. So we were spending a little extra time with her and we thought that this would be easier on the schedule. My birthday today. I know. And my present's funny. <laughs> my birthday today. We turn in seven. And we're gonna go get a bike and stuff for me. Today we have a special birthday girl. Yeah! Yeah. And Leah needs a new bike, so we're gonna drive into Kelowna and get her a new bike for her birthday. Yeah! New bike! That is so exciting. New, new bike, for the bike new bike. Okay, let's do it. It's embarrassing to film in public, so camera's off. Leah, did you get a bike? Yeah. Serena is over there harvesting right now and it's my job to get the market stand all set up so I'm gonna get to that. I have a big old bucket of beets and Got a bunch of carrots, ready to go. I saw you harvested some kohlrabi last night. Yeah, well. I got kohlrabi last night. And- I did the zucchinis. I did the zucchinis. I have lots of cucumbers. I need to go get cucumbers. And maybe some little peppers. And I gotta see what else I can find. We don't have any flowers done yet. No, so but we're gonna have flowers. It's gonna be like a bouquet bar set yeah. up a little bit. Well, You'll make them. I'm gonna make them. Yeah. While I'm out there. You're gonna make them. We'll harvest them and then bring them up front to make them. Yeah. Totally. All right. Stop what you're doing. We should go harvest some cucumbers. All right. We got enough beets already. There is 
a million cucumbers in here. I had no idea because I hadn't even been in here, but they've all, the, each plant has like four full-size cucumbers. It's crazy. There's probably a hundred cucumbers in this greenhouse right now. So many cucumbers, that's like two plants. This is enough to get us started. Let's go get that stand set up. Took us about a half hour to get all set up and now we're ready to go here. No flowers out here yet. Serena is gonna make the bouquets as we go. She's also going to harvest some peppers right now. Uh, I have to finish bunching the beets. So that's what I'm working on right now. Bunch those beets. It's about 11.30 now and all the food is set up. Zero people have pulled over so far. Last year we were doing this every week so we kind of cultivated a customer base. This is our first time doing it this year so basically we're starting from scratch again. Uh, I think our best sale last year, we sold like $430 roadside. Just as I finished filming that little segment, uh, two customers pulled over so now we have two sales. One person bought $8 worth of carrots and beets and the other person bought $14 worth of carrots and beets and kohlrabi. So it feels good to have a couple sales <laughs> under the belt because you know, if Serena came back and I was still at zero, she'd be, uh, she'd be disappointed and that would take some of our happy fun energy for setting up in front of the street here. But nope, we're on the board. Got some flowers. Yes, I'm hot and tired. <laughs> I could have just sold some flowers if you had any. We've made three sales so far. Really? Yeah. That's not bad. How are you feeling about doing a roadside stand? It would have been better if we didn't try to harvest in the hour before the roadside stand. Basically the roadside stand will be so easy and so fun as soon as the walk-in cooler's finished. So it's about 1.30 and we sold $176. Yeah. Not bad. There's been a good amount of sales. You know, a lot of them have been, there's been a lot of $5 sales. You know, we were, we were slow in getting the bouquets together. So any $5 sale could have been a $25 sale if you had a bouquet there for them to buy, right? That sounds like you're blaming me for how low the numbers are. I blame you. I was, I was being lazy in bed this morning as well. Just say. That one looks nice. I like it. I love the fever hue. Yeah. It really adds a lot. We're doing way more of that. That's getting done as soon as the seeds show up for 2022. We're planting that very soon for 2022, which feels crazy. Yeah. What's your goal for sales today? You can make 400? Tell no. 130. I say no because 
if we're only at like a hundred and something, we definitely don't have three hundred dollars on the table. Yeah. How nice it is. Now it is close to 2.30, sold $230. Uh, it's kind of funny. This happened a bunch of times last year too. Serena would be out here manning the stand for a while and nobody would stop. And uh, and then as soon as I take over, it would get super busy. So that's what happened. She didn't have any customers for a long time. As soon as I came up here, three customers all in a row, two of them which bought flowers. So that's pretty exciting. She is right though. We really are running out of stuff. She's in the back there harvesting now. Trying to replenish the stand. I don't anticipate too many more people are going to be pulling over until we do get it replenished because it's looking pretty picked through right now. It's quarter to four and I'm feeling it heat wise. I'm hot, <laughs> um, but the, the sales are going along steady and exciting. We got to see a bunch of our regulars from last year. They were excited to see us. And we also got lots of brand new people stopping saying, I didn't know there was a farm here. So, you know, that's, that's the value of doing this farm stand. Just getting people aware of us. Okay, it's almost four o'clock now, and we've sold $286. I feel like, are you sure you recorded all of them? Yeah. Are you sure you recorded all of them? No, definitely not. There's a reason why. You're the one who can't figure the system out. This system does not work for me. The system is bad for me. Writing down a number after you sell. If I'm chatting with someone, and then there's another customer, and I'm chatting with them, I'm not like, oh, excuse me, I have to remember this number. I like my system, which is you have a set float and then you count the money after. Because I know what is getting sold because I harvest it and I can keep track of that. But the number, the number after that is slightly arbitrary. I know our goal today was $400, but our more important goal is to throw a good birthday party for our daughter tomorrow and we still have a lot of cleanup to do uh, in our outbuilding where we're throwing the party so i think that we are getting it's time it's time to get on to yeah. that We actually sold some more stuff as we were taking down the roadside stand. So we ended up with about $320 in sales. So not too bad because we didn't stay out there very long and we weren't very quick at getting there early. But we have a surprise we want to show you. And Serena is really excited about it. Hey, Serena. It's my mural. It's my Okanagan lake and mountains and sky mural. That was supposed to be a fall job but then it was too hot to live. So I made it a too hot to live job. And it's done, except for taking the tape off and showing the lines. I'm watching oh, this. Okay, so I started a little chunk and I'm already super stoked. So let's do, how's it looking? Looking pretty clean. Looking pretty good to me. I think we need to put this in fast motion though. Some people have told us that our channel is like watching paint dry, mm -hmm. but nobody's told us that it's like watching paint tape come off. Okay. Grand reveal to follow.
Leah, are you excited for your party? Yeah. Me trying faces on my cat. Right now I'm gonna draw a cat with a top hat. Sam's power-up technique. Technique. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do a cat pair. 